Hello, my name is Catherine Morris. I am an environmental radiochemist in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at the University of Manchester. I also lead the Radioactive Waste Disposal and Environmental Radioactivity National Nuclear User Facility, the RADAR facility. Our vision for the new RADAR facility is to offer a one-stop shop for radiochemical, microbiological and mineralogical characterization of low-level radioactive samples from engineered or natural environments. Currently our work is funded through UK research and innovation and industry and supports national programs in radioactive waste disposal, contaminated land management and radioactive effluent treatment processes at nuclear facilities. We currently have over 20 researchers working in the lab on radar related projects and we're keen to open our labs to new users. Radar has facilities which enable experiments and analysis on a range of samples from engineered and natural environments. My name is Dean Wormsley. I am a user of the labs working with industry on a PhD research project. We have five laboratories dedicated to bench work with low level radioactive samples. These include specialist environmental radiochemistry, environmental mineralogy, geomicrobiology and microbial ecology labs, as well as a newly commissioned radiochemical separations and columns laboratory to allow a full suite of experiments. Typical work in the radar labs includes experiments where we add known quantities of radionuclides to environmental systems. The aim is to explore the behaviour of the radionuclide. As well, analysis of radioactivity in samples from the environment that have low levels of radionuclide presence is possible via gamma or alpha spectroscopy. We can handle uranium and thorium as well as other alpha, beta and gamma emitting radioisotopes. Hi, I'm Sam Shaw, Professor of Environmental Mineralogy. Our dedicated environmental radiochemistry laboratories have a full range of facilities for experimentation and sample preparation. In particular we have oxygen and carbon dioxide free glove boxes and automated reactors which can be used to perform experiments where both atmospheric and geochemical conditions need to be both controlled and monitored. These facilities are used to study subsurface environments, for example, uh, contaminated land or deep geological disposal systems, and all experiments can be conducted with a range of radioisotopes. We also have a dedicated columns lab where flow-through experiments can be performed to monitor the transport and fate of radionuclides through soils and sediments. All the equipment to conduct these studies and to analyse the fluids and solid phases produced are available within the radar facility. Hi, my name is Tony Stockdale. I'm the experimental officer responsible for the day-to-day -day operating of the radar labs. NNUF radar has a radio analytical suite that includes gamma counting, alpha spectroscopy, autoradiography and liquid scintillation counting. Our environmental analysis suite includes colloid analyzers allowing zeta potential size and concentration measurements as well as nanoparticle tracking analysis. We also have dedicated analytical chemistry equipment for near-infrared UV visible spectrophotometry and FTIR, both of which can be used for liquid and solid sampling. Solid phase characterization capabilities include X-ray diffraction and surface area analysis. We can analyze aqueous samples on low activity samples using ICP-MS and ICP-AES as well as ion chromatography. We also have access to the environmental scanning electron microscope in the co-located Williamson Research Centre. I'm John Lloyd, Professor of Geomicrobiology at the University of Manchester. Microorganisms are able to survive in very harsh environments, including those containing radioactive materials. And here they can impact on the fate of key radionuclides. For these reasons, RADAR hosts a suite of laboratories able to support microbial research. Now these include laboratories equipped to grow a wide range of microorganisms, including photosynthetic algae that colonise nuclear fuel storage ponds, and bacteria that can inhabit contaminated soils. 
In many cases, advanced DNA sequencing tools can be used alongside traditional microbiology techniques to profile microbial communities in radar samples. Hi, my name's Chris Boogman. I'm a Senior Experimental Officer for the Geomicrobiology Group here at the University. Uh, it's my job to do um, DNA amplification work on the samples that we receive. To support this work, we have a fully equipped molecular ecology suite for the processing of environmental samples from challenging nuclear sites. DNA is extracted from samples using a homogenizer and then amplified using our range of PCR machines. The microbial species present can then be identified by processing the amplified samples on the DNA sequencing platform. This can identify the bacterial, the archaeal and the fungal components of microbial communities in the samples. We also have the capability to accurately quantify genetic markers, which helps build a more complete picture of the communities present. And finally, we have a range of microscopes to visualise the microbial cells in samples directly. My name is Tom Neal and I'm a research fellow in environmental radiochemistry. NNUF Radar is open for users and ready to host researchers for periods of experimental studies or to use specific instrumentation. In addition, we can offer advice and support around experimental design and risk assessment. Access can be secured via the NNUF Facilities Access Scheme or by speaking to us and costing access into your research proposals please contact us to discuss accessing the facility.